G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Well, apologies for not making a vlog yesterday. I was doing the family thing, but I'm back today. Well, if you didn't know, Bitcoin hit a new all-time high again today. Now, it has retraced a little bit, so it was about 28,000, sort of 400. Well, there you go, it bit stamp, it was around 28,548, let's say uh, 550, maybe even 560. Uh, thereabouts. Uh, it has retraced uh, somewhat and we are coming into the weekend uh, as well. So, you know, waiting to see if we have a weekend retracement. But it just keeps going from strength to strength. We can see that just, you know, it'll pump up, travel sideways, pump up. You know, it had the old Bart Simpson head pattern here. That was some uh, proper manipulation there. Uh, but since then, uh, you know, whenever we sort of pump up we go sideways a bit pump up sideways a bit pump up we did have a retracement that was about a 17 uh let's you know round it off and 20 20 percent retracement there so you know it's not like we haven't had any retracements we just haven't had any big ones and look we may not get any big ones for quite some time yet although there are people saying that they think around the thirty thousand dollar mark i did say that i expected one between twenty five thousand and thirty five thousand so we're sort of in that range around about now but look with all the institutional sort of money still coming in and again it's not even the the bigger institutional money it's just the early early adopters of the institutional uh, money the real kind of big, big institutional money still hasn't even come. So we might not see a pullback until, you know, 50,000, uh, maybe even more. Look, I, I would expect one somewhere between 25,000 and 35,000. But, you know, there's no guarantees. People are still getting into Bitcoin and retail hasn't even started to FOMO in yet. So very interesting times ahead. Now... The reason I don't know if there'll be any uh, pullback too soon is here we go. Augmented reality firm Next Tech AR joins the Bitcoin Treasury's bandwagon and buys $2 million worth of BTC. Now, $2 million is not a lot. It's not $2 million Bitcoin. It's $2 million worth of Bitcoin. Uh, so that won't really uh, affect the price much. But this is the beginning of all companies will start to do this. Literally all of them are going to be going out and buying Bitcoin. Uh, and, and, you know, then again, the retail FOMO starts. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to try and comprehend just how high this thing might go. You know, the, the talk of a million dollar Bitcoin, uh, you know, is that possible? I'm, I'm not sure. It'd take a lot for Bitcoin to get to a million dollars. But, you know, the half a million dollar Bitcoin, quarter of a million dollar Bitcoin... Gee, they're looking well within reach at the moment. And, you know, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Now we go over here. Large Bitcoin futures gap causes temporary trading pause. Uh, and ETH, opens interest, uh, ETH open interests hits all-time high. So there is a CME gap. We can go over here and we can see quite a big gap was caused. So it's starting down at 23,600. Uh, and going all the way up to sort of 26,000. So chances are over the weekend uh, that we probably sort of come back down uh, and fill that gap. But look, there's no guarantees on that. Most of them fill, but not all of them. It's like the high 90% uh, fill. So chances are this will get filled. But that's not to say it's going to get filled over this weekend. Chances are still pretty good that we have a retracement and come back and fill that. But let's have a look. What kind of retracement would that be from where we are or where we got to to get down to here? So there you go. We'd need a 20% retracement basically to come back down and properly fill that CME gap. So is there enough selling pressure for that at the moment? I'm not sure. I think the buying pressure will weigh out way that at the moment but look again who knows we'll have to wait and see but the cme gap is there it's been created uh and look another one could get created this weekend as well so yeah we'll, we'll have to wait and see it's very very interesting so obviously it's thursday here in australia just going on to thursday over in the states and things like that we could just again continue on this bitcoin pump and just create another cme gap in the next few days we'll have to wait and see now, again, why I'm not sure if there's going to be a massive pullback. 
We talked about, well, I talked about this a little while ago. Skybridge Capital has already invested $182 million in Bitcoin. And again, this is firms just getting in early and, you know, putting in a little bit. As people start to invest into their uh, funds, they're going to have to buy more Bitcoin. That's the way it works. So don't think that that's it. Skybridge is only going to buy $182 million worth of Bitcoin. They buy it. Uh, and then you know set up a fund and people then come in and buy it at a premium eventually all that bitcoin gets bought up and they will have to go and buy more so yeah i just i don't know if there's going to be enough sell pressure to sell that much bitcoin at the moment and i think even the whales know that they're best to just hold on to it at the moment there's no real point in selling i think the sellers at the moment are it's mainly the miners. The miners have to sell all the time. They have to remain liquid. But at the moment, I don't think the whales are really selling too much. Look, I could be wrong, but I just I just don't see it at the moment. Not when we go to the charts uh, and we see Bitcoin, uh, again, just, yeah, pumping. And, yeah, no, again, here was a sort of 17. That is a... 20% retracement that's a small one but in the current market maybe that's as big as they're going to get so again as you know it was a 17% retracement back here uh, on this chart from the top down to here so maybe we do get that as a retracement uh, over the weekend and then it just does exactly the same as what it did uh, over here pulled back uh, you know had that sell off and then just re uh, re bought it all up in a couple of days and then a bit of sideways movement and then the next leg up so, all right, now Ripple, obviously this has been uh, horrendous for Ripple and they've sunk to another low again. Now I did say that I was uh, just going to hold on to, excuse me, all my Ripple until it went to zero. I changed my mind because I really didn't think that I would see Ripple get down to these prices. So I've sold a major position of my, my Ripple uh, and at a loss, which is a shame, but yeah, that's really where it was for me. I just don't know how low it can go. Uh, I didn't sell all my Ripple. I do have some Ripple sitting on the sidelines, uh, and I won't sell that. I'll just wait and see. And, you know, if the crazy prediction of, you know, Ripple going to $10,000 per coin one day happens, then I'll still be sitting pretty. But uh, I sold, I would say, probably 85 to nearly 90% of all my Ripple uh, today and I did sell it at a loss. I sold it for like 26 cents Australian and I think I was buying it for about oh, 27, 28 cents uh, Australian at its cheapest, which was about sort of 21, 22 cents American is what I bought it for. So that was disappointing. Uh, look, I'll have to keep an eye on Ripple in all fairness and see what happens. Or well, not so much Ripple, but XRP and uh, Ripple. I may buy back in. Like if this goes down to, uh, you know, if it gets down to the kind of 15, 12, 8 cent range, uh, US I'm talking, I'll probably rebuy. I, I, I think I'll, I'll keep that money sitting on the side for, and, and if there's some major dip in the market or if Ripple gets down to, yeah, again, you know, sub 15 sort of cents. I'm not sure it will in all fairness. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if it'll, you know, go too much lower than the 20 uh, sort of cent range. It's at 20, 21 cents, 22 cents at the moment. We'll have to wait and see, but it's very disappointing. Look, I think Ripple will settle with the SEC. Uh, to be honest, I think I think that's what's going to come. They're just going to pay the fine because uh, this will just drag out too long. It'll be a multi-year sort of thing. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. And look, if Ripple settle uh, with the SEC, I do expect the price to... Uh, bounce uh, up pretty quickly but look if ripple is not interested in interested in settling with the sec then this is going to drag on for ages it's not going to be over anytime soon so again i i couldn't afford to lose anymore i i bought ripple pretty cheap i bought it at it's one of the lowest points i've seen it in a long time and it is currently below that already so yeah uh you know maybe this will come back to 
bite me and you know uh, I wish I never did that but I just I couldn't afford to uh, lose any more on Ripple considering uh, that it sounds like they're going to court and that could last a really long time and I all the you know exchange delistings I, I do expect it to go lower and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw uh, XRP down around the kind of 10 cent mark and look if it gets down to around the 10 cent mark that's probably when I will uh, buy back in you know I'll definitely be very interested around the 15 cent mark uh, and super keen between the 12 and 10 cent mark. And I'm not saying it's going to get there and I'm not saying it couldn't even go lower again. I'm just saying that's the price that I'll be looking to buy back in uh, if it does go down. And likewise, I'll be keeping an eye to hear out whether they've settled with the SEC uh, and, you know, buy back in uh, hopefully before it gets on a massive pump but if i miss it i miss it and if other opportunities come up then that's what i'll be taking but yeah we'll we'll see whether i made the right decision All right over here crypto enthusiasts could make 122k per year mining ethereum with this setup all you need is a 78 uh, NVIDIA GeForce Trek graphics card and a decent air conditioning system. <laughs> All right, sweet. 122K per year sounds pretty good, but I'm guessing electricity is going to chew up uh, a severe amount of that, uh, depending on sort of where you live. Uh, Simon Byrne has taken at-home crypto mining to a whole new level as he looks to capitalize on Ethereum's potential. As first reported by Anthony, uh, I don't know how to say this, Gariffa, Burn has set up an ETH mining rig consisting of the above. Although the RTX 380 is marketed toward high-end PC gamers, crypto miners are using these powerful specs to enhance their capabilities. With each card using roughly 300 watts of power, Burn's setup uses 23.4 kilowatts of energy, and that doesn't even factor in associated costs like aircon. All said, his electricity bill is estimated to run up to $2,166 per month. So that is not cheap by any standards. Uh, but, you know, you times that by 12, you know, that gets you to, let's just round it up to 2500 uh, times 12. So about $40,000, dollars ish you know, a little bit cheaper, maybe down into the 30s uh, dollars per year in electricity. And 122 possible thousand and again that's what it is it's possible thousand so uh, a bit risky I'm not sure I'd want to run out and do this but look who knows this uh, this person could be onto something uh, and don't get me wrong I do think uh, all the mining uh, is going to be quite profitable in the future but uh, I'm not sure how profitable it will be for the you know the smaller users like you and I I think you know the money will really be made from the big farming. Um, yeah, the, the big farming miners and all the rest of it, I think they'll make really good money. Whether we can do uh, a cheap sort of setup and make this kind of money, uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, interesting read. Uh, go over and have a look at Cointelegraph and maybe you're interested in doing that and running a, uh, an air conditioner 24-7 or maybe live somewhere cold and it doesn't need to run quite so uh, often. All right. Lucky last, crypto-friendly trading firm eToro is now rumoured to be uh, prepping for an IPO. So Coinbase is doing it. Ripple was thinking about doing it. I don't think they'll even remotely be looking at doing an IPO at the moment until this SEC thing is uh, sorted. So that's, uh, again, another reason that just I'm, I'm really worried about XRP and Ripple at the moment. It's not that I think XRP just suddenly fails and goes to zero. All that Ripple does... But I just think they're going to have a whole lot of issues and maybe settling with the SEC is the best idea. And they can just, you know, pay the fine and be done with this and then, you know, get to take advantage of this bull run. Uh, and, and my gut feeling is that they're probably going to do that. And we'll probably hear something from them in the not too distant future that they've settled uh, and all this, you know, you know, talk of it going to court and all the rest of it will be... Um, just a bit of sort of hyper and you know there's some conspiracy theories out there at the moment that they're trying to get people like you and me uh to you know sell it put it all back on the market uh and the institutions can buy it all up uh because it was never meant for retail it was always meant for institutional buyers so you know i guess we'll see whether that plays out and whether that's you know a, 
a conspiracy theory that comes true and all the rest of it. All right, again, apologies for no vlog yesterday. Uh, family, you know, is important, and especially around this time of the year, so I was unable to make a video, but I'm back today, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be back every other day that I possibly can. Stay safe, be kind to one another, hopefully you're on that game train, and I'll see you next time.